Right on the drive, good block. Big time block there by Kobe again, about 6'6", six, six, very athletic. Cracker Mensa, Nwandu. Nwandu, good pass to Kratholm, layup good. Hammond to the hole, no good, contact, no call. Ball is saved, but right to Cintron, and Cintron an easy two. How about the senior shoot? Nwandu just squares up his shoulder, good mid-range shot. Nwandu, foul line jumper, got it. Smooth. It's for three, Hammond no good, in and out. Good rebound, Kratholm put back, good and foul. Kratholm. He's having a win. You know one very well. I do. No one dude. Reverse layup goes. The shots. Quack immense. A great cut by Solomon for an easy two. Excellent cut. Back door. Understanding that Maris overplaying, but the pass was brilliant too. Back to Solomon. Three up top. Got it. Solomon. Last five for the Purple Eagles. Only 50 points versus Siena earlier in the season. They need to pick it up. Wandu fires a pass to Kawaka Mensa, who is five. Solomon the other way. Back to Roberts. Open look from three. Got it. Transition early offense. Finds Roberts. Quick jumper for Roberts Ooh. from three. Knocks it down. I think the they're last say three two. he made. Right inside the line, they're going to say. Game. Nwanda driving through, dishes to Cintron, layup good. Nwanda. Six to shoot. Pass inside to Cradholm, and Cradholm off glass good. Good decision to get him the ball inside. No. Aspie can't handle it, that's going to do it. As Kuaka Mensa gets it to Nwanda, and Nwanda. We'll dribble it out, and Niagara Purple Eagles, the five seed, will advance to take on the Iona Gales in the semifinal game tomorrow night. Hey, guys, it's Jason Wolf from the Buffalo News. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, you obviously haven't played uh, about two and a half weeks leading up to uh, this one. What was uh, the challenge like getting ready to perform in a tournament game, given the lack of, uh, you know, prep time that you had to work with? Um, well, I guess we just wanted to lock in. We knew, I mean, like we've been saying, we've been preaching, coach has been preaching, you know, it's one game season now, it's March, uh, and we don't want to go home, so... Um, all we had to do was just come out and execute, and we weren't really worried about it. We were just excited to play, really. We ain't playing three weeks, so, you know, just excited. How were you able to, get, uh, A, get off to as decent a start as you did, uh, you know, building a double-digit lead midway through the first half, and, and B, really, you know, hold Marist offense in check for large stretches? I think we had a ton of energy. Before the game, everything was on point. We came out, we were connected as a team. Everything we did was crisp and um, basically just our energy and being together is what propelled us forward tonight. And then um, the end, obviously a 19 point lead was shot down to a single possession. Uh, can you walk me through what coach was telling you uh, through the final minutes there and how you guys managed to, to collect yourselves and hang on? Uh, I mean, they're a tough team. We knew they were going to fight, they're going to battle for 40 minutes. Basketball is 40 minutes. It's a game of runs. Um, you know, they made their run at the end. We had our run in the beginning. They made their run at the end. And, uh, you know, we're just, we're just happy that uh, we pulled through, really. We got the win. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter how you do it, you know, as long as you get the win. All right, next up, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Oh, hey, guys. Um... This game, you know, uh, Raheem played a big, big part in this game. Your leading scorer with 17 points. He sent those guys home last year with that late layup as well. Is there something about him where, where you know, he's one of those guys that kind of steps up in big moments? Uh, Raheem's a competitor. And every day in practice, he brings it. He's, he's the kind of guy that um, you know is going to play hard on offense and on defense. And, again, I'll reiterate the trust we have between each other. Mm. And uh, he had it going tonight, and we believe in him. So uh, it worked out great for us. 
you guys were last in the conference and rebounding during the season and, and you come up, you come out and you grab a 31 in the first half. Um, was there something about this game where you knew you could, you could beat those guys up inside a little bit, or was that just a lot of extra effort on your part? Um, yeah, you could, you could say, I mean, that's a key every game. Uh, we know they got, uh, uh, Jordan Jones. He's, uh, a big guy for them. He's, he's really good, uh, talented player. Um, and we knew it was going to be a battle. Like I said before, you know, we just had to lock in and, and, and crash the boards, focus on that, you know, so we could uh, try to limit their second chance opportunities and, and also get out and go um, for the fast break too. All right, John. Uh, yes, my question is for Nicholas. Uh, you grew up in the great state of Kentucky. I was wondering, um, do you have any memories back in the day of Coach Patino since he was such a legend in that state? And could you have ever imagined that you'd need to beat him in the semifinals to get to the championship game this week? Yeah, definitely. Um, growing up from Louisville, um, that's that's the hometown team. And he's one of those guys that you always hear about. They're always they're always on TV, always watching him. Um, he was in the gym recruiting guys throughout high school. And um, obviously, he's a great coach. So it's, uh, it's going to be a big game for us tomorrow. And I think if we bring the same intensity that we brought tonight, uh, we're going to have some success as a team. All right, Ken. Yes, Nicholas, um, a, a question about the defense tonight. I, I mean, it looks like you guys were just up in their faces so much in the first half. Was that one of the, was that the goal? And was that, the, um, and obviously it paid off well. Uh, I think a goal we have defensively is just to play as hard as we can and to do our principles to understand our game plan for that certain team. And I think we executed really well tonight. Um, and everybody has their roles that they do on offense and obviously defense. And um, yeah, I think we, we took care of business. Did you play a little different defensively than you did say during the first two meetings this year? I think as you play, as you play teams and you play them again, you learn their tendencies and what they like to do. And you see what things as a team you did that was successful, things you need to work on, and you make some small adjustments. Um, but I think for the most part, it just came down to us playing hard and being the most physical team we can. Thank you, players. We'll now go to Coach to make an opening statement and take some questions. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Coach, please begin with your opening statement. Yeah, um, what, a, what a basketball game. Uh, terrific on both sides, the, the competitive spirit. Uh, really proud of our guys. Uh, Marist is a terrific team. They had an outstanding year. Uh, they're so well coached and, and well balanced. And uh, having our guys come out with that type of enthusiasm and energy and togetherness, uh, just, just really proud of them after a long layoff. And um, not knowing if we would have this opportunity or not. And, and I thought our team really took advantage of it. Okay, we'll start off with Jaden. Greg, before you guys got down to AC and you were still on pause, you talked about not knowing what you were going to get as far as how this team would show up and respond first game back. How satisfied were you overall with how it ended up turning out tonight? I, I think it shows the character of our group and, and, and the individuals in that locker room. Um, you know having a very small amount of time together, very limited amount of time. Um, and, and for us to um, not just play, it took us took us a little bit of time and, and trying to get our rhythm and conditioning and all that stuff back. But, um, you know, I, I think that uh, our guys fought and competed, and, and that's what we ask of them. And for you personally, tomorrow going up against Rick Pitino in the semifinals with a conference championship spot on the line, what, could you have predicted this? even a couple of years ago, this early in, in your own coaching career? You know what? I, we, uh, we try to take it in, in a short-term uh, vision process and uh, to think down the road in terms of this, you know, we're, we're trying to create an identity. We're trying to create a foundation within our program. Um, you know, with, with the way that this year's gone, you know, a, a theme amongst our program was trying to control the controllables, uh, adapt to sudden change. And, uh, you know, for us, we're, we're grateful to, 
have the opportunity to compete and play. And, and uh, for us, we, we treat these as one game seasons. And uh, tomorrow we'll be zero and zero. And, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll uh, watch some Iona tonight and try to put together a game plan for, uh, for tomorrow morning. All right, Jason. Hey coach, Jason Wolf from the Buffalo News. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Jason. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, you know, obviously don't want to see a 19 point lead uh, dwindle down to a, a single possession, but you know, given uh, the, the layoffs that you've had, uh, do you think it could be a positive for the guys to have faced some pressure there at the end and had to have responded the way that they did? Well, I think it shows a lot to be able to build a lead. And then as, as uh, Maris is a great team and you knew that they were going to make a run. And uh, it's about the type of response that we have in those type of situations. We stayed together. We had great body language. Uh, the communication in the huddles was, was about the right things um, and about moving on to the next play. So um, for us in, in these type of situations, it's about surviving and advancing. And it uh, doesn't matter how you do it or who scores the basketball. The most important thing is, is uh, that Niagara was able to, to find a way. And, and we certainly had multiple guys step up on both ends of the floor uh, to make that happen. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, thank you, Jason. Uh, we will go to Aaron. Coach, you mentioned uh, controlling the controllables earlier. Um, you guys, you know, in the first half, didn't make any threes. You were over eight in the three-point line. Didn't really shoot it great, but you guys grabbed 13 offensive rebounds um, and really punished them on the glass. I mean, talk a little bit about, about the aggression that, that your team played with today uh, in that first half. I, I thought the multiple efforts uh, to keep balls alive, 50-50 type situations. Uh, defensively, we did a great job uh, forcing some difficult shots and finishing possessions. And, and offensively, when you're not shooting the ball well, and, and we didn't shoot the ball well the entire game, we were three for 15. I thought we had some great looks and, and we want our guys to shoot them and play with confidence. Uh, but you got to find different ways to put the ball in the basket. And that could be uh, offensive rebounds, driving the ball, um, you know, finding different opportunities from the defensive end to offense. So uh, for us, I, I liked our aggressiveness. And, uh, you know, thought we did a good job taking care of the basketball, uh, only having 11 turnovers. All right, Mike. Sorry. Hey, Greg, I'm curious how much time you guys have spent on Iona this year. Obviously, you were supposed to play them a couple times that never ended up happening. Have you dug in any film at any point this year? Yeah, we've we've uh, I think there were a couple of times uh, with all the different scheduling changes. Um, you know, so we, we had a, a couple of days where we looked at them and then there was a change in the schedule and, and, uh, you know, we'll spend a lot of time, uh, tonight and early into the morning trying to, uh, figure it out, but they're, they're a terrific team. They have great depth, uh, a hall of fame coach. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have a chance to see them a little bit more tonight. Our, our focus was on Marist and trying to find a way to, to just survive in advance and go one and oh in this tournament. All right. And last question from Ken. Coach, um, I, I, you referenced about having the lead dwindle toward the end. Was it something that Maris changed, that adapted to in the second half, or is there something that kind of slipped away from you guys? I, th I think they deserve a lot of credit. Um, they, they made some big time shots and plays and did a good job getting to the foul line and creating second chance opportunities with offensive rebounds. So, um, you know, I, I think they deserve a lot of credit. They play with tremendous urgency and fight. And I think that's a reflection of, of their program and coaching staff. Uh, but, uh, you know, not not a surprise. We, we knew they were going to try to make a make one last wave. And, and uh, they, they certainly did that. Thank you, coach. We appreciate it. Good luck Thank tomorrow. You.